Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the special edition of Godcraft. This is day 388, and uh, we have a crazy, crazy special edition here. Um, these guys have been moving this Lappy Lazui, I can't even say the block name, I think I got it right, block for over uh, 3,000 blocks. Now on Godcraft we're using uh, a alpha world in fact so we don't have new generated chunks so really really far away um this ended up happening and uh <laughs> it was actually kind of funny watching him do that um and this block actually got regenerated in a broken chunk which happens uh minecraft is no has this all the time actually um a large world like ours, though, you never actually see them happen, which is kind of cool. Uh, with the new biome changes, you will. But these guys, Puppet mainly, has been working on this, moving this 3,000 blocks just to get it to his museum. And as you can see, they're getting it up here. And then I assume his museum is around here. I don't even know where his museum, but uh, we'll check it out once they get it up here. They're using a really good uh, complex uh, piston system. Now it's just a normal piston, but it's still, it's pretty badass. <laughs> this is when somebody's gonna be a jerk and they're gonna like accidentally <laughs> break the block. But anyways. No, we don't have players like that on Godcraft, but somebody is willing to move there's 3,000 blocks to have it in their museum. That's just amazing. That's a, that's a special kind of person. But anyways, I'm going to pause it for now. And oh, here it comes. Here it comes. It's finally hit the surface. They've been traveling this down a subway line. Woohoo! There's Puppet. Strategically planning his next uh, a move here. So he's gonna break open his doors. So we're just going to pause it here, and I'll continue once it gets into the compound. Here we go again. So to show you how this works, they put a piston there, they put uh, just one thing there, and they have one guy floated up with dirt. Sometimes they're a little lazy and not doing the job here. There we go. I guess he's just going to do it. Oh. <laughs> Wow, failing for the movie. This is Sniper, our head mod. He can't even place blocks. There we go. That's how you work it. It's a teamwork effort. And it just pushes the uh, the block. And they've been doing this all day long. So like I said, 3,000 blocks down a subway. They... It was a pre-generated or a generated chunk that I guess broke and generated the uh, new block maybe in one point like six or seven or whatever, and then they've been working all this time moving it over to his museum. Uh, this is Puppet's uh, palace. His library is there. I'm not sure what's going on in the middle yet, and underneath is his large vault that's open to the public actually I think so you can take a check it out, and this is where he's going to be placing the block. Uh, he's going to have a museum. I believe the upper level is going to be uh, blocks and the lower level is going to be paintings. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens when he gets it in here. And uh, over time he'll have this filled with other things like diamond blocks, coal block, etc, etc. And it'll be interesting. So they've got it inside now. Ah. Um. I guess this is a good opportunity to show, I mean, a lot of people are wondering if Godcraft's legit. Well, I think this just answered your question today. I mean, uh, they're willing to push a block over 3,000 blocks because they want it to be able to place it, or not place it, but to have it in their museum. 
clearly we just shown you how legit and determined the Godcraft community is to place a single block inside their museum. But uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and make sure you check out Camelot, and make sure you check out Puppets, uh, whatever this place is. It's friggin' huge.